name's Michelle Brown and I'm an Inji Bundy woman from the Pilbara and I'm the Australian First Nations curator at John Curtin Gallery. The first exhibition that I curated was Carol Up Kulangar Warren, um, The Spirit of Carol Up Children. While I was lead curator for um, the WA uh, Museum Nyalangkort Budja Warren exhibition, I'd had um, built up a bit of a relationship with the elders and got to know the story in a little bit more detail. So when I started here at Curtin, I had a, a bit of a background and understood a bit more about what was expected in terms of a narrative. But at the same time, we wanted to create something new and fresh because the Carol Up art has been exhibited for many years. And in fact, from the 1940s, when Mr. Noel White, the teacher at Carol Up, you know, took those artworks and traveled all around the world. And so going back on where we started here, because John Curtin is developing a Carol Up Centre for truth-telling, we orientated this exhibition towards that and we sort of, in some ways, uh, recontextualise the, the narrative around that. My name is Chris Malcolm, I'm director of the John Curtin Gallery. The Carol Up Centre for Truth-Telling was established in a ceremony in this building on the 10th of November 2020 and it will become a permanent home for the Herbert Mayer collection of Carol Up artworks that was discovered in New York in 2004 after being missing for over 40 years. The centre itself will be a development within the John Curtin Gallery, an extension of the John Curtin Gallery, and will be a place that will be able to offer permanent access to the collection in a way that we have not been able to since the artworks were repatriated to Australia in 2013. It will also be a place that we can engage more directly with the Aboriginal community and the people connected most directly to the artworks. It will be a place where we can archive the artworks, display the artworks, interrogate the artworks, develop and run programs of engagement, um, as well as we're very keen to develop programs of healing that uh, involve the artworks, use the artworks as a foundation for engaging with survivors of the stolen generations and people connected directly to the child artists of Carolot.